Pornography is a huge issue, and we ask students in surveys why they look at pornography. You'll get things like boredom or curiosity. But what really interests me are the deeper heart reasons why a young person will be drawn to pornography in the first place. And I look at it kind of like a tree. At, at the branches at the top are really any addiction that somebody can have. It could be an addiction to gambling, addiction to alcohol, addiction to pornography. But underneath the surface at the root are the heart issues. And if we just have some kind of software blocking, which is important, if we have curriculum, which is important, but we don't get healing in the heart of a young person, they'll never be truly set free. So part of being made in the image of God is that God is relationship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one being three persons. So Jesus said, what's the greatest commandment? Love God and love other people. We're made for relationships. When young people don't have healthy relationships, they will find other counterfeits to fill it up. And one of the main counterfeits today is pornography. So if we're dealing with students, we gotta get to those heart relational issues to help them get set free. And a great way to do that, number one, is just to ask questions. When I hear a young person who's looking at or struggling with pornography, I wanna say, stop, don't do it. And sometimes, there's a time where we just speak boldly and preach into a kid, but oftentimes listening, expressing trust and asking questions. How does this affect you? How do you think this will affect your future marriage? How does this make you view people differently? By questions we can draw out of a young person and help guide them ultimately what is true. And then the second thing is just use stories. People love stories. Jesus told stories, right? In fact, he, he told tons of stories we can remember. People remember stories, they relate to them, and the defense goes down. So if I tell a kid, I want to give you three reasons why pornography is bad and you should stop looking at it, defense goes up. If I say, can I tell you a story? Whether it's my story or somebody else's, in a way that you see pornography affecting their life and their relationship, that defense goes down, a young person can relate to it and hopefully apply it to their life.